Hey, what's up, garden and friends? Jeff here, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well, I'm great. I'll do a whole big built up introduction, but I'm pretty sure the title probably says it all. I found a terrarium kit in my basement. I don't really remember when I got it, but I know I got it from Home Goods, maybe a couple years ago. It says up top, what's that, $29.99 compared to 50 bucks? Haven't done a lot of crafty planter type things in a long time on the channel. I guess I threw together a spring planter not that long ago, but nothing like this. I haven't done terrarium stuff in a minute. So I thought it would be fun to pop this thing open, see what's going on in the box. It, it might be broken. I don't know. Who knows what's going on in there? I'll probably be picking apart what's the direction say. I'm sure I'll have some opinions here and then plant it up. That's, I feel like I just have to. I have some cactus and succulents that I picked up, so may as well, right? Doesn't say it includes everything, but that's just what I would hope. It does say up here that it contains a three liter terrarium bottle with a cork, tool kit with rake and scoop, a potting cup, drainage stones, active carbon, I think they mean activated carbon, and soil. The directions are right here in the box. Hopefully there is something else inside of the box say what needs to go on here, but it says apply the drainage layer for approximately two centimeters and divide the stones with the rake, add the activated carbon. One tablespoon, huh? That's it. Add the house plant soil enough so that the plants can be planted easily, approximately five to seven centimeters. Add the plants, add water. And down here at the bottom, it says add your own soil. Is that, well, that's confusing. Oh, this is a sticker. Did they decide to not include the soil? Is that what's going on here? What's written underneath this thing? It says soil something next to it. I don't know, I couldn't get it off. And there's a weight right next to it, drainage stones, carbon. That's supposed to be what's included with the weights, but then it said add your own swell. And it says down here, pick up from the bottom, not from the shaft. I feel like there's probably a better word for that. Neck, perhaps? Probably called the neck. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open and see what's going on inside. Not really going to be a big deal if there's no swell in here. I have plenty of swell that I can use inside this container, but it does say DIY kit, so you would think that would mean it would come with those things. Hey, hey, those are some nice tools. Stainless, appearing stainless at least. Shiny, they look sturdy. Telescoping, that's cool. Oh, that is a tiny, tiny little scope. It's gonna take me long to lose that. And there's the bottle. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so, but it does look like this has a bottom to it. So there could be something underneath that bottle. Anything underneath there? Yes, there is. Look at that. I know. Hard to see, but I checked. Very small amount of the activated carbon, some white gravel, the scoop. Then let's go ahead and pop these out. Give those a try. Yeah, I like these, these are nice. See that? Telescoping, pretty significant too. I don't, is that even gonna fit in frame? That's freaking huge. Any long, I don't have any terrariums where I would need a mini scoop that long. I don't know how sturdy they are and how long they'll last. The rake too. I'm saying telescoping, nice and long. Cool. That is fun. I'm wondering what's going on with the jar. That's the most important part. All right, there's the jar. It's, it, it green. Why is it green? I don't like that. I would have preferred this be clear. I suppose they were going for some kind of old world charm, but there are going to be plants inside this thing. So why would we want to filter out any of the light? Also, I'm disappointed because I don't, I don't like the way it looks and I don't want it in my house. The reasons I backed off of doing terrariums a few years ago, I was doing so many of them and eventually was running out of space and then was trying to come up with other ones to do for videos because they are fun to do, but I didn't necessarily like the way they looked inside my house based on the containers that they were in. It came away, but you only have so many friends who are gonna keep taking terrariums off of your hands. I'm not really looking forward to setting this one up. It's cause I, it's kind of ugly. Don't take that personal. If you like it, that's fine. We all have different tastes. Nothing wrong with that. It's just not, not my jam. On the camera too, it's probably not going to show how green this is, but it's like, it's a very green, very green glass, but there's a lot of lighting in here that's going to make it probably appear more clear. Maybe I can show you the bottom so you can kind of see that green as I move it around. Why, why did they do that? And right, let's come back to the box. Let me grab the box so you can see the picture on there. Expectations and reality. <laughs> These do not look the same to me. Definitely a clear bottle. Shaft on it appears to be more slit. I call it the neck of the bottle appears to be a little bit longer and more slim. It's more squat. It's fine for, I would say, 20 bucks. I think 30's pushing it. 50? I would have been ticked. Maybe I'm overreacting, but I don't like when people fuck with my money. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna plant it up? I feel like I may as well, but I don't really care to because it's ugly. Also, what, what, why is there a cork in the top? 
Why is that necessary when this thing has a gigantic gaping hole in the middle? That's something I see in a lot of terrariums, but, but why? Other than aesthetics, why? Okay, cork. Fun, I suppose. Yeah, that was that was exciting. Got a giant open hole here. There's going to be gas exchange, water vapor, still going to get out of there. I suppose maybe slightly slower with the cork in the top versus having it open because all that stuff wants to move upwards, but it, I view that as being purely aesthetic. Yeah, I can understand it if this is just the shape of bottle that somebody were to prefer because it's gonna be pretty difficult to plant up a terrarium through a hole this size. It's doable, but it's gonna take a while. At least with the big hole in the front, you can reach in there and get things planted up. Got the little tools so you can go in there and do the little tool things easier. Okay, so for ease of access, I get it. Is it a terrarium or is it a glass planter? It's a glass planter. Suppose terrarium does have a broad definition. To me, when I think terrarium, I think of the classic Wardian cases, something that is designed to sustain an environment for the plants that are within it for whatever fauna is inside of it not necessarily just the plants when you have a great big hole in the front you can't really do that so uh, cactus and succulents good way to go with this peperomias which is also great option because there's gonna be a lot of moisture that comes out of there you can really put whatever you want into it. it's all about how you water the plants and where you put it but the glass is also green again i know that that may not be showing up very well in camera but what that just doesn't make sense to me. Why the green glass? Other than aesthetics or cost of manufacturing, I suppose, I don't understand why, because this should be clear. If you don't need the light filtered through colored glass. That doesn't make sense as far as growing the plants goes. All right, complaining and ranting time over. The tools are cool. The scoop is tiny and cute. Uh, this is, I don't know, minimal stuff, but I suppose it's nice. I did pick up some plants to use in side of the terrarium. I don't know if I'm going to, but I figured I would still show them because they're freaking tiny and adorable. A whole bunch of different cactus and succulents. <laughs> don't see myself wanting to put them in there That's because I like these a lot more than I like that. I don't I don't want to put these inside of there. Unfortunately, they're not named. Didn't have labels, but have a Hawathoria here. Nice one. A little bit dry and crispy, but that's not a big deal. They pop back very, very fast when they're thirsty and assorted cactus of some sort. I don't, don't know what kind it is. Comment down below if you think you know the names. Problem with little bitty cactus and succulents is there can be a lot of different ones that look the same, particularly when they're really small. So that's why I'm not gonna try with names on most of these. A few of these tiny, aren't they? These are so stinking cute. Little barrel-like looking cactuses here. It looks to be some sort of flowering euphorbia over here that's not in focus. Has some tiny yellow flowers on it. A ripsalis. One of my favorite ripsalis. These are fantastic for doing terrariums. It, they can go more moist. This particular type of ripsalis can. They shouldn't be left to be sopping wet, but they will grow so, so well. They're great in a terrarium if you want something to have a nice bushy appeal to it. Ripsalis are a great way to go. And then just in a, a, a cactus, because, well, you know, had to, had to get it. All of this wouldn't fit in there to begin with. I don't want to disappoint and just do a video where I don't actually plant anything. That feels weird. Or maybe I'll save that for a separate video. I don't really know. I feel like I should still mock it up. Go ahead and put the stuff in there. Maybe just not the plants, or perhaps maybe I'll walk around the grow space and take some cuttings of things to toss inside of there. All right, I suppose one nice thing about this being a kit is it should in theory be pretty quick and easy, it would be even quicker and easier if this had come with soil. Actually, maybe not though. Soil, usually they come in little bricks and you have to rehydrate them. That can take a, well, like 10 minutes. It doesn't usually actually take that long. This is activated carbon, helps keep the water clean and clear that settles down inside the basin. I usually rinse it. You don't have to do that. Get, can be time consuming. Doesn't last forever. I think activated carbon is really useful, but sometimes has been overhyped. It's not a sponge. It's not going to just suck stuff into it to suck in particles, pollutants, contaminants, whatever it is that you don't want in your soil. Things need to move over the surface. It's very porous, has a lot of various pore sizes. Those pores catch those things you don't want in your water. And once those pores are full, they're full. Oh, it doesn't last forever, but I think it's useful for getting things started. There are a lot of other benefits to using carbon with potting soils as far as providing just surface area for critters and things to thrive, some porosity that 
it doesn't hurt to have it around. And well, I don't know why I'm popping this open. I have to put the soil in there next. Some all-purpose cactus mix into this container here. And apparently in the process, completely forget to adjust the camera so that you can see what's going on. I still can't really see it. A couple new tripods come in the mail. I'm excited about those. Splash of water, that might have been too much. Also, should I bring up the fact that there weren't really instructions other than what was written on that package. And I feel like they could have said some more. Because if this had included the soil, then hopefully there would have been some directions that went with that. With terrariums, it's really useful to pre-moisten the soil before you put it inside of whatever it is you're using. Add the soil in there. The reason you want to pre-moisten it is because you can't really water things in all that well when they're in a container that doesn't have any drainage. This were a terrarium that I actually cared about and wanted to thrive and last a really long time, I would probably DIY my own terrarium mix. Either peat or coconut base with some sand, probably some pumice. I would mix some of that activated carbon in there, perhaps some chunks of hardwood bark, like a orchiata blend, orchid bark, repti bark would be fine, just various sizes and textures some sphagnum moss, lots of different things to promote a well-draining soil that I know is clean. Because when I do a terrarium, they don't normally have a big hole in the front. It's normally gonna be a closed environment and that's why it's important for things to be nice and sterile. With this, this is just miracle Grow potting soil that I have laying around, which should be totally fine for something like this because it has a big open hole in it. So there's still gonna be a good amount of air moving around not going to be a lot of condensation in there other than maybe when it gets watered. Anyways, so I filled that up about halfway to the bottom of the opening in the front. This is when I would normally go through and pick out my plants and start placing them in there and then I would go ahead and scoop my soil and start filling in around those spots and then top dress it with the gravel if I wanted to. A terrarium like this I view as something that you, you have around for aesthetics because it looks cute, right, as a decoration, so uh, I would have no issue with top dressing it. I think something like maybe a, a lemon fern, a little lemon button ferns, that would be pretty nice inside of there. Just just one right in the middle with white gravel around it and have a nice clean look. Uh, the cactus and everything, the beauty of these is going to be lost. Yes, yeah, I don't like how that looks. Looking at it straight on, fine, because there's no glass right in the front, but from any other angle, can't say I'm a fan. And that's why I'm not going to be using plants that I really would like to use in something that looks nice in this. Pull those back out and I'm gonna poke around, see what I have in here that I could put in here as maybe a cutting, just so that it looks nice. And I'm going to probably give this away to a friend who I think this might look nice for them. It also means I should probably pick out plants that are nice and sturdy because the person I'm thinking of that I'm gonna give this to, plants, not really their thing. Okay, finished poking around, found some cuttings that I think will work in here. Go ahead and get the rest of the soil down the bottom. The scoop, this is a nifty scoop. Not hating it, that would be a nifty thing to use for filling in inside tight areas. I'm doing a planter perhaps where I have a lot of plants packed in and I'm having trouble getting the soil down in between them. This could be pretty nifty. Not that that isn't something I could have just grabbed from most of the nurseries around here for like three to five dollars, not needing a $30 terrarium kit to have that, but here we are. At least I got something out of there. I just, a couple Nanook Tradescantia cuttings, that's pretty much all I could come up with. I was like, you know, I don't think that the person who I'm giving these to is going to kill these. They tend to be pretty tough pretty sturdy. It could also be doomed. I don't know. Pretty much everything I have around here, including this Tradescantia, it's going to outgrow this terrarium very quickly. Cuttings is a fine way to get it started. You can tell I've put next to no thought into this. I kind of wanted to get it done. I'm not going to bother top dressing it. Since these are cuttings, it's going to need to stay moist in there, so I want to be able to stick my finger down in there and really check the moisture of the soil to get those going. It's going to need small and frequent waterings. What I might end up doing is just putting a little bit of cellophane over the front there and taping it on because that will get these rooting right away. Like within, I'd say two weeks, I could go ahead and give this away, top dress it and say, hey, here you go. It's going to grow like crazy. You'll have to prune on it a lot. I just couldn't leave it empty. This is supposed to be a DIY terrarium kit. So there we go. I do have some other things to say about it though. Starters with additional comments. The layer of activated carbon, if you'd even call that a layer, not big enough 
at all, I would want at least three to four times that amount. People have different techniques for terrariums. I would, in this, prefer for there to be at least probably a half an inch to an inch of carbon in the bottom and then a layer of gravel that would go on top of that and then the soil above it. That'll help prevent a lot of muck from getting down into the carbon. This is so small, you really don't have to do all of that, but that would be my preference. You can usually get activated carbon from a pet store. It's in the aquatic section, while the fish supplies by the filters. Generally, relatively inexpensive. You can find gravel all over the place. Prices up and down, who knows what kind you want to use, but generally fairly inexpensive. Potting soil, you don't need much. If you're a gardener and you're watching this video, you probably have some lying around that you could have put in here. And uh, at places like Home Goods, you can get tons. They have a huge selection of various glass vessels that you could use for a terrarium that usually are under 20 bucks. So for $30, I, I, I guess it's not that bad, really. I, I'll say it's a nice looking bottle because it is, it's just not what I like, but that does look nice, just not for me. I like the tools, came with two tools, the scoop is nice. All right, maybe for 30 bucks it isn't that bad. Am I going back on everything I was saying? I, I guess I am. There is still a lot you could do with this. Cactus and succulents, it, I, I could have put them in there and they would have been fine. I just, I really like all these. I think they're freaking adorable and I don't like this. So that's why I didn't use those. But if you think about it, you get those cactus and succulents in there, arrange them nicely by height so that there's some dimension, get that gravel in there, throw in some twigs, some rubble on top of that. I think that'd look, that'd look pretty good. I'm taking this way too seriously. This was just for fun. I don't even know who makes this terrarium kit. It's from Home Goods, so you're not even gonna be able to find it. This is from like a year or two ago. The place changes their selection all the time, so I doubt they even still sell it. All right, comment down below. I am glad to at least opened it up. I have something that I can give away once it gets going. I'm gonna, by the way, I'm gonna keep my eyes open while I'm at the nurseries for something that I think would be more fitting to not outgrow this and be high maintenance because the Tragiscantia, the Nanook, it's pretty vigorous. It's going to need a lot of pruning inside of a container this size. So I'd say if you're giving it away to someone, it's supposed to be a gift, then it probably shouldn't be high maintenance. Oh, ooh, I just had a good idea. Easter's coming up. I'm gonna pluck that Tragiscantia out there, throw some wheatgrass seeds in the back and like some easter eggs and a decoration and boom have a great gift to give to someone got the green glass with the green grass and then some kind of colorful eggs on the bottom the white filler that'll look nice maybe a little statue of an easter egg or a bunny in the middle all kinds of things could do there that's enough comment down below say hi i love talking to everybody thoughts opinions but what do you think not about what i did obviously the design what i put in there looks like garbage i put no effort into that that's no surprise there but just what you would think if you had purchased this. I go back and forth because I do like the tools. I like the scoop. The soil had been in there. And honestly, if the glass had just been clear, I'd be singing a whole different tune right now. I really would. But I feel a little bit scammed because the pictures, they weren't completely off, but I was expecting something different. And hey, now I have all these fun little cactus and succulents to play with and put into a nice shallow dish that I can put somewhere around the house. Hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.